Alright guys, we are back with some more MXGP 2020. Today we have, I don't know if it's the longest track, but the biggest track. Uh, if you, you can see here on the map that we used up, I don't know, 90, 95% of the map. Just a tiny bit of green showing through, so I think we did pretty good. Uh, you could make a longer one with a longer lap time, but this is the biggest track. All right, so this is it. We have pretty much one lap for you. That's it. It's a uh, seven minute, six, 48, almost a seven minute lap time. Uh, you could, I already said it, but you could make it longer if you cobbled it up a bit. You know, you didn't have a bunch of straights and fast sections. You had a bunch of S turning and, and whatnot. Then you could easily make it probably 10 minutes, but I, I just don't find that fun. I don't find that fun in a, a real life track design or a video game track design. I just don't find that fun. So I chose to make it a fast, a bunch of straightaways with a bunch of different jumps and rhythms and, and big jumps on it. So. That's what we were aiming for here. Uh, it is a bit... Okay, it's kind of a big Supercross track outside. We do have a few spots that I feel like are more outdoor style, especially when you get onto the hillside. I mean, it definitely has a, a more outdoor feel on those parts of the track, and we do go up and down the hills a lot. And I wasn't doing it to overdo the or overuse the hills. It was just it, it happened to be that way. And I did spend probably three days. I think it was pretty close to three days on this track. I mean, not non-stop, but I kept coming back to it because I, I would run out of ideas and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put on different parts of the track. I wasn't really sure how I wanted the design to the flow of the track to go. So it took a few days, probably three, four hours, maybe. Yeah, that seems like a, a long time, but I wasn't I wasn't in a rush. I, I wasn't even sure if I wasn't happy with the track You probably would never have even seen this video. So I was pretty happy with it I will point out there was one specific section that I wasn't really that happy with and I did validate it But then I deleted it because there was a again One specific section that I'll show you I wasn't that happy with this part when you jump up a hill this all this part of the track gets a bit I tried to slow it down just a little bit to make the lap time a, a bit longer without destroying the original idea, I guess, that I was kind of using to make the track. I mean, we have a couple back and forth sections here with some tables and doubles, and we do have that again at the very end, but I don't feel like it was really annoying. And I know some of you guys enjoy that kind of track, so if you play it, I feel like it has a bit of everything. Some of the corners going down the hill, we put the, the hip, the big hip, and it gets really tricky taking those corners. You have to hit it at the right angle. You have to have some throttle control. Otherwise, it's very, very, very easy to spin out. So I'm really glad we put some of that in. We have some spots where you have to have, you can't just full send. I mean, a majority of it is a full send, but there are some parts of the track that definitely, if you over jump, you're going to crash and that's kind of at the end and I will and I will show you that but for the most part a lot of it is full sand there isn't really any line choice you could build the track to have some but it just feels tougher to do that in MXGP 2020 as opposed to Supercross because I mean you you're trying to make an outdoor track and I know again it kind of turned into a bit of a Supercross track but it's just really tough with the way the jumps are, the way they're so rolled off and everything to make a bunch of different line choice. So I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying I didn't really do it. Now we are getting into the back half of the track. We're about halfway through it. I guess it would have been more fun to not... I put so many jumps on it because I hate playing on the track or a track that's just flat and smooth it's just not that fun I wish we could put down rough sections just rough straight and then maybe I would have been more inclined to to not have so many jumps and have more just rough sections that jump we just went over not that happy with that section I wanted to go back and change it but the problem I had was I built too far 
and I didn't want to delete what I already had done. So, unfortunate that jump kind of sucks. The the jump we just hit going down the hill, that is very easy to over jump or under jump and crash. So, there that's a an instance where you have to have some throttle control. That table heading down the hill is a very similar example where it's very easy to over jump. I'm not even 100% sure what I all had on this track. It was so long. It took me a while to get a halfway decent lap here because it just, it's not that I made so many mistakes, but I don't know. It was just really a big track. That triple is also one of those jumps where you can't full send or you jump off the track and crash. You have to have some throttle control and that was the reason we put it there. Otherwise, you could have just went down the hill. And then this double that we're going to hit is a huge send down the hill. So uh, overall, I'm really happy with the track. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I feel like we did pretty good. If you have a bigger track, let me know in the comments. I probably won't be able to play it because there really isn't any way to search for custom tracks. And I don't know why they did it that way. Like you can only play the most recent or the most downloaded and I don't know why they chose to do it that way I mean if your friends make a track you can't even really find it unless they tell you right after they made it so the search system not having one is ridiculous I mean they've had that they know how to do it why is that not in the game I'm actually very very annoyed and frustrated by it as I am sure a bunch of you guys are too. I can't even really do does your track suck because I can't find your track. So that sucks and it's unfortunate, but you know, I mean, that's the way it is. Maybe they put it in the game later, but then, I mean, that just goes to what everybody's been saying that they gave us a game, <clears throat> excuse me, a game that isn't finished and it wasn't, but they gave us a patch and, and added some stuff in, but this is this this sucks so I mean that's unfortunate that's my tiny rant about not being able to find custom tracks but I again I haven't validated it or I did but I took it down because there was a few sections at the end I wasn't completely happy with so I might put it up again it would be on PC um, but that that's a lap on the biggest track uh, again Let me know in the comments if you guys have a track that has a longer Lap time and I might try it if I can find it again. There isn't really any way to search so uh, Very unfortunate, but one thing I want to say before we end it here. I do have a Thunder Valley replica It isn't perfect, but I feel like we did okay. I feel like it resembles Thunder Valley based off of what we had to work with so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that track I just haven't decided if if we will do a video on it so you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy